Hi, I've uh, come for a new uh, cookie recipe and that's a uh, red velvet cookie. Yesterday, day before yesterday, my first video was um, uh, thumbprint chocolate, dark chocolate cookie with dark chocolate ganache. I hope you all had tried and enjoyed the cookie and today we have another new cookie and that's a uh, red velvet cookie. And I'm sure the kids are going to enjoy the red velvet cookie. So shall we start right now? And most of my uh, relatives say I took a lot of time to start. So well, I'm going to start. Now I'll tell you the ingredients. I have taken one fourth uh, cup of butter. Then we have uh, one fourth cup of uh, sugar, powdered sugar. We have maida, that's uh, 70 grams. Just a second, I will just uh, turn the video to the other side. One minute. Okay, I hope you all can see me. So, I'm going to drop in the butter, one fourth cup of butter. You just need to just Mix it with the spatula. Don't make it over creamy. Next, uh, we're going to add in the one fourth cup of sugar. very simple very quick to make it should be the butter should be in room temperature powdered sugar softened butter to be used So that's enough. Now we're going to add in the dry ingredients. We have here, there's no baking powder used for this. This is Maida's all-purpose flour, 70 grams. Then we have half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. It's half a tablespoon and then a few drops of red coloring. This is sugarine that I'm using. Around five drops of red color. And then we'll mix it all together. You can use the hand mixer for just beat it for just two or three minutes maximum.
you can use a uh, wheat flour instead of maida it's also possible and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence See, it looks like sand. If there's not enough color, you can add extra another two or three do drops of red color, dark red color. I think you need to add another two or three drops. Your hand tends to get red because of the red color. So now you can use your fingers You have to fold it in a parchment paper and place it in the fridge for 20 minutes or for 2 hours. 20 minutes would do. If you need more red coloring, you can add a, and you can reduce the cocoa. Use only your fingertips for the ball to form. I hope I'm clear. I hope you all can hear me. It's nice and soft. Now you have to take a parchment paper, just flatten the dough. Flatten the dough, hold it, and keep it in the refrigerator. Here okay, for 20 minutes, like this, neat. I had already made a dough. And kept it in the fridge. Can you see? It's hard. Now you have to make balls out of this. a little hard 
don't over knead too much and make it warm. Just enough to use your biscuit cutter to cut it. Okay. Now flatten it. And then you can roll out. paper so it doesn't break it should be one third inch thickness In the meanwhile I'll just preheat the oven to 150 degree and you can bake it for 12 to 15 minutes it's you should use only the bottom rod don't use both the rod okay we don't use baking powder for this because uh, we don't want it to rise it should be flat on the top because we need to apply the royal icing for decoration. Now we'll use a round cutter to cut it. You get around 10 to 11 cookies from this measurement. Don't use a hand to lift the cookies because it will you know, go out of shape. So I'll just, you can place a parchment paper on top and then bake it. Just take it slowly, see, and then place it on the tray. And you get retain the shape. You can use any cookie cutter. You can cut it into any different shape. Any shape that you like. I've got a Mickey Mouse cutter too. Maybe I could cut with that. Slowly lift it. Don't use too much of kneading to make the dough warm.
Oke. We have our red velvet cookies. Which I'm going to bake now. And the rest will go into the fridge. You can store it in the freezer for one month or dough and then use it whenever you want but take it out and keep it uh, to around one hour before you start cutting with your cookie cutter. to make the glaze to spread over the um, cookies I have here half one fourth cup of icing sugar then I have half a teaspoon of corn flour half a teaspoon of lemon juice if you want you can also add a clear vanilla essence for this this is royal icing and add half a tablespoon of water okay add little by little you can add uh, milk but uh, it won't you won't have much shelf life i prefer water because you get shelf life for your frosting this is a quick um, royal icing you apply it on the you pipe it on the cookies the red velvet cookies and uh, let it dry it will become very hard okay now i'm going to pour it into the piping bag Just cut the tip. I've made some cookies before so that to save time. See round and this is the Mickey Mouse cutter and these are the round ones and now we'll frost on top.
you can either frost it like this or frost the whole cookie. So this is done. If you want you can add uh, eyes and nose and all that for the Mickey Mouse. I'll add some sugar sprinkles on top. Okay, so your red velvet cookie is all ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll be back with another new cookie day after tomorrow. You can add uh, some other sprinkles instead of sugar sprinkles too. And then you can make a different decorations, whatever you like. You can also decorate with fondant, butter icing, and also anything else that you want. What you know, you know what your kids love. I'm sure the kids are going to enjoy this cookie. So, to, uh, I'll be I'll be around five again after at one day intervals, maybe day after tomorrow. Please uh, uh, click on the bell icon so you will know that I'll be I'll be I'll be on live and putting up new recipes and cookies. Anyway, thank you and please if you have any doubts, write your doubts in the comment box and I will clear everything for you. Hi, I'm sure you're going to enjoy these cookies, these red velvet cookies. Tomorrow I'll be back with another recipe. A live cookie recipe I, I'd love to share what I learned so that you all can enjoy making cookies at home thank you for watching bye for now Those who have not seen the live video can just go to my page and follow the recipe. I'll put up the written recipe as well as the pictures on my page. Thank you for now and bye from Sushila. Thank you.